after seeing that intro and just looking at this right here, it is painfully clear Nintendo needs to release the new F-Zero. And to be truthful, that is exactly how I came upon this game. It was sent to me for the purpose of streaming or recorded gameplay, and here we are. As you can see, the game is absolutely beautiful. Now, also, this one has guns in it. I usually don't like vehicular combat, but you know what? Why the hell not? So you got these three tracks, so it un unlocks as you go. Let's quit here. Let's see what kind of options we have. I love the music too. Oh, race is the only option. Womp womp. Alright, let's wait. So it does look like it counts down a little bit before you get in here, so we'll see what happens. It's saving. So you get unlockables as you progress via points. Okay, so position, good. All right, so I never really cared for the combat. Let's just start with an arcade race, because that's actually how I'd rather play it anyway. Woo. All right, let's do beginner, since I don't know what I'm doing. Speed class. I don't think, I, oh, I have to buy that. Wah, 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 wah. Can I afford that one? See, I kind of like that one because the acceleration and max speed are pretty high as well as the strength and the handling. That one's pretty good too. That one seems pretty all around good. Eh, why the hell not? There we go, I got it. These are the controls, so brake, accelerate, good, so it does have modern controls. Weapons are Y, shield is B, boost is A, X does nothing, and you steer. Alright, cool. This is not for the Series X yet. I don't know whether it will be, but right now it's not for the Series X. Colors. The game looks absolutely beautiful. Sound is absolutely beautiful. Staggered start, just like a typical race. Three, two, one, three. Go. Controls are pretty solid. All right, so you don't want to land on the red ones. Oh, there's zips right there. Hey, I got me some boost. Wow, that's making me dizzy. Damn. And then lap four, or one. Alright, I'm using some boost. Not that it's helping. So I'm in eighth place. On easy. That's alright. It's a matter of trying to figure out where to go. Damn, I missed it. Don't land on the dude. Or on the red. Damn, I landed on the red. I just said don't land on the red. Alright. All right, it looks like I caught up to him at least. Maybe. Alright, so I'm in second place now. Sweet! Damn it. It's a pretty cool game. Still in second. Final lap. Alright, let's see if I can do this.
All right, I have to ask, do you want to see this on a screen? Damn, I landed on it again. This kind of reminds me like, uh, that is a Switch game. There we go. Woo, I finished first on easy. It's kind of a fast RMX on the Switch that I have. Fast RMX! Should I stream it? Let me know. Let's pick something different looking. How about this one? This looks pretty cool. And I am picking beginner just because I am new to this. I got $2,000. You know what? We're going to improve handling some more. And we're going to pick a nice blue color. Same controls. So you don't want to hit red. You do want to hit blue. Ready to race. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. All right. As we wait. Three, two, two, one, one go. We just collect boosts here. This reminds me of Big Blue on the N64 version of F-Zero. And a great soundtrack too. Oh, this has a lot more foliage. No, we don't want that one. Is it for I, you know what? Racing games, I either love them or I hate them. I loved the Burnout series. Loved. And it culminated in Burnout Paradise. I love Hydro Thunder. Particularly the first one. You know, the one on the Dreamcast, and then the pretty much everything. Ooh. And then pretty much everything else after. And I really, I mean, one of the games I bought my Xbox One for was Hydro Thunder Hurricane. My buddy let me borrow an Xbox One. I actually bought the game before I even had an Xbox. And this was recent because. I wasn't planning to get an Xbox Series right away, and I did, and then I had the one. So the one is what I leave for the kids, and then I'm playing the series all the time. So this is a pretty, this is a pretty cool looking game. Totally like Big Blue. Different soundtrack. Oh, I'm missing everything now. Well, I'm in first place, so who cares? Boom. And that, my friends, is a fun game. I want to thank the developer for sending me a copy of this. This is pretty badass. I really do like it. The sound is great. The graphics are great. I wouldn't mind seeing a uh, Series X upgrade. But if they never get to it, it already looks pretty damn good. And the controls are good. So let's do one combat game, and then I think I'm gonna wrap it up. So as you can see, B is shield, weapon fire is Y. I can adjust the music if I'm so inclined to do so. And realistically, I wanna focus on these two buttons for attacks and defense. All right, so you don't start off with any weapons. I got some shield. Got some boost. I got some ammo. So red is ammo. That one's shield. And I missed them completely. more ammo. 
Ammo, 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 ammo. Not even close to hitting the bastard. Boost power! You can't even catch me. Oh shoot. And I blew up. They must have gotten me. See, there I get for being arrogant. Aww. Like I said, the vehicle combat games have never really impressed me too much. And I try to tend to avoid them. I really like that this game has the option for you to turn it off. Alright. So, we made it to third place. Got 500 points. Got another achievement. And all in all, I would say, buy this game. Now, that's a little unusual for me because normally I don't provide flat out opinions on things that are sent to me for free. But if you like F-Zero and you want a modern iteration of it, by all means, do that. It's a cool game. So I'm gonna leave it there. If you want me to stream this, I'm gonna do it on Twitch. I'm not gonna do it on YouTube. Anyway, let me know what you think. Leave some comments below and have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>